Well, poetry is, a, is by its nature very, ever since the romantics at least, when personal experience became the subject of poetry. Um, I, I went out and saw a bunch of daffodils and I felt this way about them. Um, poetry has become, it's probably the most egotistical of the arts because the, the self is foregrounded and the self is the subject, the I. I mean, if you're writing fiction or writing plays, um, you should probably be interested in the lives of other people. Uh, that's not required if you're a poet. You need to be interested in your life. Um, so the, the fiction writer is kind of looking in people's windows and observing their domestic secrets. And the poet is looking out his or her window to the, in the world and talking about this is how I see it. Um, so it's very egotistical in that sense, but in the other sense, the, 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 the I that I present is not quite a self in that the I doesn't have, the I, my I isn't bringing a lot of biographical uh, or autobi autobiographical information along with it. I'm not presenting myself as a piece of uh, sociology. That's the result of parenting, religion, education. And, and all that. My self is a sort of self that's just there in the moment, and so it is a little bit uh, Buddhist-like or haiku-like, at least, in that the the eye is uh, is a, a, a creature who is just looking at something right now, and so I'm not really very few. I mean, you could read all my books, and you you really wouldn't know that much about me. You'd know about my sensibility and some quirks, but. You, it would be hard to piece together uh, a biography, you know, based on that, because I'm really not talking about past experience. Um, it's usually talking about a moment and then um, subjectively just exploring the, the, the facets of that moment.